Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and I'm going to bring you another Pokemon Showdown series of battles today. So let's kick it off with this one that I have right here. Um, it is against an opponent by the name of Raseri, and so I decide to lead off with my Miltank, where my opponent leaves off with their Embor. Now, predicting the close co uh, or the superpower, I immediately go on to go Lurk, but he calls my bluff and goes for Fire Blast. This is the first one, thankfully, but hits the second one, and I'm able to take it out with an Earthquake. So I got a little bit of luck at the beginning, which is really nice. But he brings in the Pylos one here, and I know the Ice Shard is coming, so I immediately go out into my mill tank, and I use this opportunity to set up a Toxic on this Pylos one, because obviously this thing is a wall. Um, it gets up its rocks, but I don't really care too much about that. Um, and as you can see here, you know, its moves really aren't doing too much for me. So he switches out, and I take this opportunity to Milk Drink, and then I proceed to Toxic this Golurk. Now I know it learns Drain Punch, but I kind of just wanted to get the Toxic on it to begin with. Um, and I take this opportunity now to switch out to my Mantine, which doesn't take the Drain Punch too well, but it allows me to at least have this thing in and maybe set up some Protect shenanigans. But um, fortunately, or unfortunately for me, he switches out into his Ludicolo and he goes right for Giga Drain, which I thought was a very odd move against Mantine because I am part flying. And I just go in for Air Slash, which is awesome because that's a new thing for Mantine, and I'm really happy that I got that. But um, I just go for Protect again to try and get some more HP recovery so that I can live another Giga Drain. But um, he just switches out into the barrel, and so I take this opportunity to Toxic that, because obviously this thing is going to start setting up and doing some crazy, you know, simple shenanigans and whatnot that can be very threatening. So you do have to kind of worry about the barrel, even though it seems like it isn't able to do much. But unfortunately, my opponent gets a crit right here. I'm not sure if it mattered, because Zeb Striker has pretty bad defense, but it would have been very helpful if I did not get that crit. Um, and I'm able to, unfortunately, not take this thing down just yet. So I gotta go out into my uh, Golurk, and instead of just killing it off right away, I decide to go in for Stealth Rock, because I realized that as soon as I kill it off, Palaswine is just going to come back in with its... Um, what's it called, with the Ice Shard, so I'm just going to die anyway. So I switch on to my Skunk Tank, and he goes back into Ludicolo. I go right for um, Poison Jab, just because I, people are pretty much aware that Sucker Punch is going to happen from Skunk Tank. Um, and unfortunately for me, he's able to take me out with a Hydro Pump, which is Rain Boosted, so there's no way I was going to live that. But luckily, I can bring in my Girder and go for Mach Punch right here, um, and then I'm able to bulk up on this turn. It might not have been the best idea, but it definitely was what I was thinking would be smarter because I didn't actually think I could live two earthquakes, which I just did right there. I go for payback, um, and then my opponent dies off to the toxic damage. Um, and I go for mock punch right here, but unfortunately, Pile of Swine is actually faster than Girder, and I'm unable to take it out because his priority is faster than mine. And that is something I'm going to take into account when I re EV this Girder because I kind of am, don't want to be outsped by Pile of Swines. But, anyways, moving on to the next battle. Um, I, it is up against someone by the name of Hebus. Uh, same scenario, I lead out with Miltank again, and I Toxic the Pilus one right away as he goes for the Stealth Rock. And so here, I'm just going to go right for Seismic Toss. I knew that Haunter was going to come in, but I didn't want to switch out and risk it, so I kind of just wanted to go for the safe move and go for Seismic Toss. But here, um, I know it's probably going to be like a sub-disable set, so I first go for Crunch. Um, I should have probably went for Sucker Punch first, but oh well. I know the Disable is coming, so I go for Poison Jab, um, and it's able to do a decent amount to where I think it would be breaking its sub, but I really don't want to worry about that right now, and I know he's probably going to go for Substitute again, so I just switch on my Zeb Striker to Volt Switch the sub, then go right back into Skunk Tank, and I'm left here with 15 HP, and at this point, even if he kills me off, it's going to die from Aftermath, so I just go for Sucker Punch anyways, and he goes for an attacking move, and he's able to... Um, take out the Haunter right now, which is awesome. Now I know Pikachu, I know what it does, so I'm just going to go for Crunch right away because I don't want it to set up a substitute. And luckily for me, he goes for Thunder Wave, and I know this thing also sets up, so I'm going to go right for Crunch again. I do a Fire Blast on this, but I figured after the um, Quiver Dance, Crunch would still be doing more damage. Um, and I'm able to 2-hit KO this uh, Motham, which is awesome. So now I switch out here because I know an Ice Shard is coming, or an Earthquake, um, and I'm able to bring in my Mantine safely and go for Scald, which is really great because that's some nice damage on this Palace one. Probably should have went for Protect first just so I could avoid the Toxic damage, but I'm able to two-hit KO this Palace one, which is really nice. And I'm really liking using Mantine. I haven't really used it too much, but I really like it a lot. 
Um, but here comes in Lyperd, and I know that Fake Out is probably coming, and I don't want it to get its gem activated if that's the kind of set that um, Lyperd is using. So I just go for Protect first, and then I go for Scald, maybe get a burn, but unfortunately I don't. And then he takes me out with Sucker Punch. You're gonna, I'm gonna explain this at the end of the battle, because I've seen like three Lyperds running this set, and I don't know why it's a set, because it seems really stupid, but it works, but it seems really stupid. But anyways, um, my Zeb Striker dies there. I didn't think it was actually going to die from a Sucker Punch, so I kind of just left it in anyway. Um, and I bring in my Mill Tank to Seismic Toss it. And then I bring it, and then I'm, the Cadaver comes in, I'm able to Seismic Toss that first. I know it probably has Magic Guard, so going for Toxic would have kind of been stupid. Um, and now I bring in my Golurk, and luckily I'm able to live a Shadow Ball from a Cadabra, and I'm able to KO it with a Shadow Punch. Um, I don't know why Golurk is NU, but it is, and I enjoy using it there. And Golurk can survive a lot more hits than I think it can. Like, it tends to take one hit and then kill something in the process, and that's pretty much what it's done for me every single time I've used it. So I'm really having fun using Golurk right now in NU. But for one more battle, um, I'm going to start off with this one with my Mantine this time. My opponent leads off with a mill tank, and I'm predicting like Stealth Rock or something. So I just go for the Toxic right away, because I want to kind of wear down the heal bells. I like to do that with mill tank a lot. But here he shows me Double Edge, so I'm assuming it's a offensive mill tank with Scrappy. So I know that a switch into Golurk to maybe potentially avoid a move would not really help me out there. But I guess my opponent might have predicted me to switch or something, but I have Air Slash, as you saw. I was kind of hoping for a flinch here, but I don't get it. Um, and my Mantine, unfortunately, is not able to deal with this Amoongus appropriately. So here I just switch right out into my Zeb Strika, and then knowing that a close combat's probably coming, my opponent actually switches out into Ditto to try and um, catch me on the switch with the Golurk, but I actually know for a fact that I can live my own Shadow Punch, and I'm able to take out the Ditto because Ditto, unfortunately, doesn't retain the same HP as Golurk does. Um, but here, um, because I know that Miltank is going to be faster, I do have Drain Punch, but I need to switch out and um, I switch out the mill tank, which is my physical wall, and I'm able to seismic toss this Masharna, which is nice for some pretty solid damage. I'll go for toxic right here because I do want this thing toxic. I know it has synchronized, but mill tank does have heal bell. And here I just play it safe. I figured he might have predicted me to switch into Golurk since that's exactly what I did last time, and I thought he was going to go for ice punch. But um, I'm able to actually safely bring it in right now, which is just as good. And I'm able to Earthquake and take out the Amoongus. Um, the crit didn't matter because I would have outsped anyway. Um, but here, um, I just kind of leave it in to die. It goes for Punishment, which I thought was kind of odd. So that might mean that this mill tank isn't actually um, scrappy. But I'm able to bring in Zeb Strika, and I go for the Volt Switch here because I realize that Skunk Tank is probably the best matchup against everything else on his team. So I bring it in, and I'm able to basically take out this um, Sock with a series of aftermath and um, toxic damage. I thought it was going to die, honestly, and I'm kind of upset about that, but I had to lose my Mantine as well. But in all honesty, Mantine probably was dead weight at that point, because as you're going to see right here, I cannot do anything to this Masharna. Um, this is why I love this Pokemon, and it's my favorite psychic type. Masharna is an absolute tank um, in every possible sense of the word. I try Volt Switching here, thinking maybe if I go for Payback or something, I'll be able to do some more damage. But because I don't have a status right now, there's no way in hell I'm going to kill this Masharna. So unfortunately for me, um, this Masharna is going to be able to finish off the last two Pokemon on my team pretty easily. Um, and surprisingly to me, I think I'm able to actually live a plus one Masharna's Psychic, which I thought was odd, because Zeb Strika does have pretty bad defense, or special defense as well. Um, but unfortunately, I was hoping for a crit or paralysis or something, but nothing happened there. Um, and that would be the game. So I was 1 and 2 in this series of videos, but I thought they were a lot of fun, and they looked pretty good. Um, they showed off a lot of cool things, and they also proved that Masharna is the best. But that's it for this video, everyone, so thank you all for watching. And just a note on the uh, Lyperd thing, since I did mention that earlier. Um, people have been running this weird set that's like Fake Out, Sucker Punch, Thunder Wave, and then Random Move, which I've seen to be Taunt, or um, I don't even know. But it's really weird to me because why would you make Sucker Punch your only attacking move really and Fake Out only applies once? I don't know. People need to stop using that set because it's really dumb in my opinion. But that's just me. Anyway, that's it for this video everyone. So as always, take care and goodbye.